know about you, but I try to watch at least one educational video every day. And if you're like me and you do the same, I urge you to watch this video. Even if you're not interested in Disney pins or even if you're not interested in the things that we're gonna talk about, it's still an interesting study to kind of see how everything works out. We're gonna show you a really cool tool that helps us look at the pins close up. And I think you may just fall in love or you may find a new hobby. And we're going to talk about identifying real and fake Disney pins. Now we've done this before in the past, we've done it before, but what's really neat today is I've actually got two microscopes, look at that. So we're gonna put it right side by side and I guarantee you, you are going to be fascinated by it. So let's check that out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can see all of our new videos as soon as they come up. So the first pair of pins that we're gonna look at is this super cute Lilo pin, and she's dressed as a witch. This is one of my favorite pins, guys, but it is also a highly faked pin. So we're gonna look at each of them under the microscope side by side and see what we can see. Let's go ahead and turn on our microscopes. Get them ready, get them powered up. Uh, this one didn't click on, let's try again. Turn them on, kind of make sure they're focused really good because I want to get us a good view. Okay, and these are our two pins. We've got one real and one fake. Let's have a look at it. Guys, the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and look at the front of the pins. You're gonna look at all the fine lines. You're gonna look at the details. You're gonna look at the colors. You're going to look at the thickness of the two pins. You're gonna roll those pins in the light and see if there's any paint dips or brush strokes. Then you're gonna flip that pin over and you're gonna have a look at the back of it. Um, and you can tell a lot from the back of a pin. And I'm gonna show you exactly what we're talking about as far as fine lines and details and things like that. Okay, so let me show you this one first. There's our first one. Just kind of give it a roll in the light. You guys can see that, give it a roll in the light and show you the back of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at this one under the microscope. The light's a little bit bright, but it looks pretty good. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna roll that in the light. And we're gonna have a look at this one here. Okay, if I can get that light, let's see if we can get this focused in a little bit more. There we go, okay. So let's have a look at the two faces on these. One of the things that you'll find guys on fake Disney pins is when we say look at fine details, it, you will notice that the lines on, on fake Disney pins, they're very thick and that's what, why the pins kind of lose some of their detail. They're very thick. You'll also notice that there'll be a lot of like striations on the metal. Let me get my, like you'll notice there'll be a lot of like marks and striations on the metal. Like here, this one's nice and clear. Um, the, reason, the reason why you'll see that is because they use a cheaper metal, usually an, an aluminum based metal um, that makes all these little striations and marks. But notice here, she's got like a little, almost like a little, um, smirk on this side but this side's missing it and what are we getting this weird this thing from oh from the the ring cam okay so let's see i don't want to get that from the ring cam okay all right guys so let's go ahead and look at our pumpkin see how blown out all the lines are in the fine details it just kind of makes it look like a like a i don't know like a a crazy uh, pumpkin that's lost some of the detail. And then look at our one over here. Look at how nice and clear all of the jagged the marks are. And you can see that this is supposed to be like a double sided. Where here it just looks like it's got really wide lips, right? And then let's look at her fingers. And this one, her fingers look a little bit, let me try to Okay, look at this one. Look at how thick the lines are in her fingers. Where over here you can see the actual fingertips and the little bend to the pinky. This is just like a big blob. Let's look at the bottom of it. And what can we see on the bottom of it? Again, I'm noticing some really thick lines. I'm noticing some really thick lines, some striations up and down on the metal. Um, just kind of overall, you know, not as shiny, not as, as brilliant, not as, as clear and clean in the lines. And that's something that you'll notice in fake Disney pins. There'll, there'll be a lot of like fine details that are missing and it'll just seem like it's off just a little bit, just enough to make you think, uh, I don't know, maybe it's just a bad production. That is what they're famous for. Okay, so let's flip these pins over. And when I don't know if you guys noticed this, but when I held them up to up to show you, one has a silver metal and one is kind of like a gold tone metal. Okay, so let's look at the, this this one. And when we're looking at da the backs of Disney pins, the first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the out the outline of the pins. So what we're looking for is we're looking to see if it has a border. Now there's a little bit of a border right here. Uh, let's look at ours over here. See how this one 
has a border all the way around where that pattern just doesn't drop off the edge. See it? Where that crosshatch waffle pattern just kind of has got a border. What that's from, guys, is that's from when whoever recreates or fakes these Disney pins, they take a screenshot and they try to print it on the back of the pin versus etching it the way Disney does. Disney, and then it etches it right to the end of the pin. When they try to print it and stamp it, you get these funny borders. So I do notice that we've got a little bit of a border on this one. And let's go down and see all the way around. Let's go up here and look at ours. Again, it looks like there's a little bit of a border here, but not, not like you see here where that, that pattern actually stops. See what I'm talking about? Also, one of the things that we notice in fake Disney pins is most Disney pins, guys, will have one of these nubs on it, right? We'll have a, a, a pin nub on it. See that right there? Let me show it to you right there. Most Disney pins have nubs. It will either be in the older style, one little pin nub on the side like this, or in the newer styles, there'll be one pin nub on either, either side of the pin post. And what that's for is that's for, for stopping that, lay, that pin from moving around on your lanyard or your shirt when you're wearing it. So most Disney pins have nubs. Uh, a lot of times the fakes do not. There are a few occasions where there won't be nubs, and that's usually when there's like two pin posts on a bigger pin or in other cases. Okay, so let's put ours back under here. And so we do have our nub on this one, which, which kind of lends the authenticity. And for the age of this pin, this is the kind of nub that we would want to see. Now, if we notice this one over here, there's no nub, right? See, there's no nub all the way around there. I see no nub, I'm looking. Okay, next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at that pin trading logo. And this is where the proof is, guys. This is where the proof is in the saw. So let's have a look. We'll get nice and clear for you. Okay, get this one, this one's a little bit brighter. Oh, I don't want it so bright. Let's try to dial it in a little bit. Okay, there we go. Looking at the back of a Disney pin, what you want to look at, first of all, we looked at the border, we looked at the crosshatch waffle pattern, and again, see how we can see the border all the way around this one? Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to look at the back of it. You're going to check out that pin trading logo. Look over here how the pin trading logo is nice and crisp and clear. Let me get it dialed in really quick for you. See how you can see official pin trading 2003? Everything's got its own space. It's, it's lined up down here. It's lined up down here. And none of the numbers in the date are touching the border here. Notice that? Uh, but you can make it nice and clear, pin trading 2003. And then when we go over here and we look at this one, notice how official looks like it might have been it looks like it's kind of cramped in see how the o is kind of sideways again what that's from is that's from that screenshotting process when they take a screenshot and they try to shrink it down a lot of times they'll have to scratch out numbers and letters and then when they go ahead and, and organize the print then they'll go ahead and plop them back in but what happens is you get some kind of funky things like this like look at the o here see how it's turned sideways a little bit and look at how pin trading is all one word like there's not a nice space between the pin trading here and there is here also, notice how the D-I-N-G looks a little bit like it's a different angle, a different font, a different size. Something is just not quite right. And the lines do not line up down here. This I is really strange. Everything's already mushed in there. That D is weird. And then the next thing we're going to look at is look at how our date right here is touching the border up here. Disney is very, very particular on their quality assurance, so their dates would not be touching the borders. Uh, what this is from, again, this is from that shrinking down, then blowing it up and trying to plop it back on there. Notice, and if you look really, really hard, notice how the three looks a lot bigger than everything else, and the two. It looks like what they did is they, they scratched out, because the two and the three from the original wouldn't fit on there, so they scratched them out. They, they made the screenshot, left the zeros, and then they went back and put the two and the three in there, and they're both too big for it. See how it's touching the border? That right away tells me that that's probably a, not an authentic pin. Okay, now let's look at the writing on, on the back of it. Okay, and again, what you wanna see is you want to see nice, crisp, clear, lined up letters like this on the bottom. Everything has its own space. It's not touching each other. You wanna see that nice copyright by Disney, China, and everything should be centered in that text box, right? Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. Look at how blown out and how, see how ours are nice and crisp and clear here? Look at how these are kind of like fat little letters. And do you see how that L's a little bit mm, and the O? So what they did is they scratched out the L and the O and the A and tried to, and, and tried to reprint it and then try to drop it in after they made, after they did the pin. See Disney's Lilo, right there, you can notice that. Lilo and Stitch. Oh, and the D even looks funny. Copyright Disney China. So guys, when you're looking at Disney pins, you don't wanna see anything that looks a mess like this. This one looks a hot mess. So 
we what we would say is we would say that this one is our authentic one super nice pin i love this one it's adorable thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell and we're gonna be doing a lot more videos just like this so make sure you check back and happy collecting